Friday Night Lights. That's the theme for tonight's matchup as the Champlain Lennoxville Cougars come to the College of Braybuff right across from St. Justin Hospital here in Cote d'Ivoire. Taking on the dynamic Lennoxville. Three wins, zero losses. Braybuff two and two on the campaign. And they will be sending Alexi Loiseau to start will the dynamic Lennoxville countering with Mati Lefebvre. Starting attackman for the Cougars, Thierry Laroche, Cayman Daibo, as well as Ethan Drake. Braybuff playing right to left, Lennoxville playing left to right, the Dynamic wearing black with red and yellow trim. The Cougars countering in white with blue trim. I'm a big fan of this. You see right off the bat here, Lennoxville starting with the midi pool. You don't see a whole lot of this in this league. By the way, that's Thierry LaRoche who's starting as the midi pool. You don't see a whole lot of this in this league, but it's always a good, interesting strategy. I'm always a big fan of it. So here we go. We're about set to get going here. That's correct. And here we go. This matchup underway. And possession is earned by Brabeuf. Ball thrown away, going towards the out-of-bounds section. It stays in. There you see a good shot. And now it's out, and the Cougars force the early turnover. Good job, Mateo Hosiel, forcing that play. Maverick Hosiel, now, by the way, number eight, the captain of this uh, Lennoxville team. And the Cougars working it in. Here's the tender. Lefebvre going behind his own net. This is a very typical Bray Buff layout, having played against them for three years. I know that they really kind of set back. They have their three attackmen run, and they basically put all the middies back on the other side of midfield, which is what you see now. They tell their attackmen, you'll get your rest once the ball goes on the other side of the field. No press here by Bray Buff. That's what you see. But now the dynamics start to throw some guys this way. Coming back for Lennoxville is Maverick Hosea, number eight. Try to draw his men across the restraining line. Or at least midfield. There's a big hit as Hosiel took a bump. Justin Ranger comes back for Brabeuf. Ranger gets a shot away and that's not on. Nobody backing it up, I don't think. Oh, they do have someone back there at X. And the dynamic will start back. Balls at X left, as the goaltender would be saying right now. Dynamic in the midst of a change. This is Benjamin Burrow win possession. Alex Farah. Farah gets it off to the right side. Ranger looking to attack. He's cut off there by Gabriel Simoro. Back out in front. Here's a ripper that's not on. And the ball goes to X. Bray both retains possession. Ball gets knocked away and stolen by the Cougars. And that's not going to be the best of passes. It's going to bounce towards the out-of-bounds line. And the quickness of the fave enables him to get there before it rolls out. And the Cougars look to start a break. Cougars making a change, so one of the attackmen, looks like Anthony Capella, now moves to midi. And another attackman drops back in his place. Cougars on the fast break. Pass out in front, and that misses. 
Looks like Noizo got a piece of it. Or sorry, that's Olivier Brassois, number four, who got a piece of it. Back out in front. Here's a chance in tight. They score. Anthony Capella with the receive of the pass. Three minutes into this context, Lennoxville opens the scoring. Simple play, try to beat your man to the outside. That forces a double team. Capella behind the net, or sorry, Daibo behind the net knows he's got a short stick on him. So he just kind of goes at him. The Brabuff defender has to slide, and that leaves Capella wide open. And Lennox will open the scoring. Bull will go down as 9 from 21, and the Cougars are on the board here. It's 1 0. And Lennoxville trying to find it. And the Cougars, possession is called. Whoa, look out. Xavier Fish stick handling himself nearly into submission there, but he does make the play. And now the Cougars have possession on the far side. Daibo behind the net. Slides it over to Capella. Capella. And here is Hosiel. Back outside. Ball's on the right of the goal now. Daibo. Capella. Capella. Back for Daibo behind the goal. Now he's going to try that same play. Got around him. And can't get the shot away. Sends it in front and a shot. No one home. Or not able to convert, but the Cougars did have someone back at X. Back out in front it goes. There's a bomb! Fought off by Wezzo. Oh, sorry, by Brassois. Comes free at the tip of the crease. They fight for it. Still loose, about 15 yards in front of the Bray Buff net. Look at that mass of humanity. In front of Brassois, and the Cougars drag it out. This is usually what happens, though, if you're Lennox. So you could have really taken advantage there because everyone has to recover. Hosio has got a shorty on him. Tries to get by, dumps it off. Daibo behind the net. Switching with Capella. Daibo cuts in. Beautiful give and go. Big stop by Wezzo. A rebound, they score. Crease. That takes a goal away from Justin Veya. It's Bray Buff ball. But you see what's happening here is those pick and rolls and those give and goes are working to perfection. And we got a false start here. Bray Buff passing the ball before the referees were set and not in the perfect place on a crease ball call. So Charles La Rochelle will have to bring it up. Randy Shang, oh my colleague, former officiating partner, as Bray Buff throws it away. There's an opportunity. They keep it alive, but in too deep to get a shot. Back out in front it comes. And a shot by uh, by Hosiel not on. And Bray Buff, or sorry, Lennoxville will get the ball. 13 and a half to go here in the first quarter. 1-0 Lennoxville on top here on Baby Blue Memories. This game brought to you by Real Em In Fishing. Much more than just fishing for sure. As the Real Em In Bait Shop as well. They got all your fishing supplies and needs. Lennoxville in possession. Ball's on the left-hand side. Capella. Capella looks to attack. Spins to his right. Drags it outside. Hosiel back out. Down low, a shot. Capella got the shot off. It hit a leg and then bounced back behind the goal. And this has been a really good five minutes of just pure pressure by the Cougars, which has led to one goal. Daibo back for Capella behind the net. Cougars changing positions now. Passed out. And they drag it back up top. This is Drake. Capella, and it's broken up. But the Cougars are back on it. That's Mateo Hosiel, number one. 
And Drake, back to the right-hand side of the net. Coming in is Veyer. Veyer has it behind the goal. Veyer out in front. Beautiful play. Big stop by Bressois. And a rebound over the net. It's the other Veyer Bressois show right now. Making four out of five stops. Brabeuf doesn't have a shot. Bressois has stopped four out of the five that have come his way. Daibo denied on the doorstep. Now we'll see if Bray Booth can get it out this time. And back from the Dynamic. This is Noiseau. Up ahead in the Dynamic. Now back on the attack. Justin Ranger. A bounce pass. Lobs on net. We got a whistle. Interference call away from the ball against Lennoxville, so it's a loose ball foul, and Bray Buff will retain possession at X. One nothing Cougars. Nine minutes gone by here in the first quarter. Ball's at top left. The ball squirts free, picked back up by the Bray Buff attacker. Bolio. Beaulieu, back to the left-hand side of the net. Back up top for Benjamin Bro. Bro the midi. And that one knocked out of the stick. And Lennoxville will pick it up here. Nico Greer, the defenseman, with a good play. Or oh, sorry, that's Jeremy Richard, 14. Making the play defensively for Lennoxville. Hoziel back up to midfield and back on the Cougars on the fast break. Greer accelerates. Greer gets a shot away. No one home and no one backing up the shot. It appears Bray Booth ball, I think. Nope, Lennoxville gets it. Good hustle by Dybo at X to keep the play going for the Cougars. So it's Drake who's on attack now. Now here come the Cougars. Daibo. Daibo passes it out the other side. Perfect play and they score. Justin Veyer with the finish. This one will count. And Lennox Hill goes up 2 nothing. That'll be the second apple of the evening for Daibo, and it's 2 nothing Lennoxville. Good feed from one side of the crease back out to the other. You're going left, you pass right, and there's the finish at the other side of the crease, and Lennoxville up 2 nothing, thanks to Justin Veyer's goal. We're down to 8.45 and counting left in the first quarter. Of course, you know, in the, this league, what they do is they play four 20-minute running quarters, except for the final two minutes of both the second and fourth. Picked up by Lennoxville, and here they come in transition. And that's a pass which was stuck in the stick of Ethan Drake, and Braybuff will pick it up. Noizo looks to break out for the Dynamic, trailing 2 to nothing here against Lennoxville. The long pull starts out. There's some pressure being gingerly applied now, rather aggressively, by Cayman Daibo against the long pull. And now the man, man's on the goaltender. Noizo drops it. Has a man on here. Ray Booth does get it away. And a good breakout by the Dynamic. Charles-Olivier Caron comes back for the Dynamic. Played across and nobody home. This is going to be a pass and a turnover by Bray Buff. Offensively, it just seems like they're going way too fast. And uh, now they're saying this is, was a shot? No, okay, they're not. Okay, there you go. Lennox will ball. 
Ball dropped. Turnover. Bay St. Herdier accelerating. Sends it over and the pass too high. Ball squirts towards the sidelines, out of bounds. Lennox will ball with seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. That is another possession with a turnover for Brave If They just got to try and get into their offense. Right now, it's they're making things easy for Lennoxville defensively. Lefebvre. And Lennoxville makes a change. One attackman dropped after the midfielder crossed, and the Cougars bring it up. Ball's at X. Daibo with the lefty pass. Capella, who's got one of the two Lennoxville goals. There's a blast and a goal! Greer with the rocket and it's 3-0 Cougars. Under six to go here in the first quarter, and Lennoxville has made this a 3-0 game. Bray Buff 2-2 two two on the season. Their two wins coming against Tuari Vier. Lennoxville has beaten each of the other three teams in the league. Only four teams this year. Remember the pandemic cut the season out last year, but in 2019 we were at six. No St. Hyacinth and no Dawson this season. John Abbott, two and one, currently second place in the standings as the Dynamic come away with it. Ball squirts free away from Ranger. Ranger being checked aggressively by Seymourow. Ranger got around him. Ranger comes back out. Carroll. Three nothing, five minutes to go in the first quarter. Ball's on the left-hand side of the goal. Lennox Hill with Stephen Dupont defensively here matching up. And now it's played back up to the top of the net. Ball's at top left. Shorty on Shorty. Drake makes the play. And another sloppy pass and the Dynamic are a little flustered here offensively. And the Cougars add to their lead. We'll see on this possession. Graybuff offside, or they were for a moment. And Lennoxville with a turnover. And that'll result in Graybuff getting the ball. Three nothing under four minutes to go in the first quarter. The first time these two teams played in Champlain, at Lennoxville, the Cougars won it 18 to six. Coming off of their signature win of the season, 10-5 over John Abbott. And ball knocked away, but stays in, and the dynamic come back, attacking on the left-hand side of the net. Played over, and that'll be. A turnover, comes out in front, picked up by the Cougars, and here they come on the break. In transition, Lennoxville dragging it out. <laughs> Capella on the left-hand side of the net. Ball goes down to X. Daibo. Back up top. Ball's on the left of the net. Lennox are looking to attack. Shorty on Shorty here. There's a bouncer and it bounces over the net. Picked up at X by Daibo. Daibo working his way in. Daibo yard sailed and Brabo picks it up. There's a lead pass and the dynamic come back in transition. Oh, and another turnover here. Braybuff's radar tracker a little off here. 
been a comedy of uh, errors on both sides as both teams come up with matching turnovers and the Cougars look to come back up by a score of three to nothing. Might be a comedy of errors, but it's Lennoxville who's laughing loudest right now. But a turnover by Lennoxville. Ball's at X right. Now there's a double. Comes back out. Here's the shot. Bounced, and that will not hit the net. Dina Mix still without a shot on goal. And they're going to stop the time. We're under two minutes to go in the first quarter because they're out of balls back there behind that goal. All right, Ray Buff in possession. It's Justin Ranger matching up with Simono. Pass out in front. Oh, what a hit, but we got a flag down and maybe multiple. The original penalty was going up against Xavier Fish. And then a late shot came in after the fact. So Fish and Anthony Boilo are both coming off here, it looks like. But because the penalty was picked up, the last penalty was picked up by Lennoxville, or sorry, by Bray Buff, this should be Cougars ball. as the referees huddle over for a discussion. <laughs> I want to make sure you get this one right, that's for sure. No matter how long it takes. One minute for an illegal hit and another minute for checking from behind, I believe, where the calls are push on, check on the back. So Braybuff picks it up because the Dynamics penalty was ruled to be a technical foul, so that was a 30, and the one minute was put up on Lennoxville. And here comes the Dynamic moving on in. A bouncer blocked! Simono. I'm sorry that's Stephen Dupont coming in there, making the block, putting the hit on. That's the end of the quarter. Clock always stops here when there's like a minute and change left, and that's always happened here at Braybuff. Good defensive quarter for the Cougars. Braybuff without a shot on net, and the Cougars are up by three. We're coming back with the second. We're back with the second quarter. Nuezo getting set to take the draw for Braybuff, going up against Ethan Drake. Lennoxville three, Braybuff zero. We're starting this quarter five on five. Fish and Boilo still in the box for Lennoxville and Braybuff respectively. Wazo, the Nuazo, bumped. And that's some good determination as the Cougars scoop it up here. Possession called, push on the back, so a delayed call. We got a flag down. On a loose ball, I'm not. I'm trying to see if that's a, that was the same call as they had for a technical. Because if that's a technical on a loose ball, it's just a possession. Nineteen seventeen and counting left to go in the first quarter. Now they're going to stop the clock again to. Yeah, so Braybuff's got the penalty. Lennoxville goes to work on a power now. 
First power play either team has had up to this point. And we'll see what the Cougars could do offensively with the man advantage. 3 0 they lead, but we noticed in the last maybe 10 minutes of that first quarter that offensively they were not getting the same kind of high quality chances. <laughs> Dustin Villa starting up with it at the top. Played over to Simon Pellerin. Veyer, Daibo, down low. They score! It's tucked in by Ethan Drake, and it's 4 0. And if you're Lennoxville, this is a personal. Keep going. Get back to the faceoff dot. And it's a personal foul, so the penalty not released until the full minute comes off the clock. You're letting so you can try to get another one here, or at least get yourselves in position for one. Four nothing Cougars. And possession is earned by Lennoxville. Pellerin's got it. He spins out of trouble, at least for a moment. Now he's got another man coming on from the back. Knocked away. And Pellerin still has it. Drags it out to Veyer. Veyer for Daibo. Daibo, one-on-one. -on -one. Daibo spins. Gets the ball to X. <laughs> Capella. Gets open, lets it go, and scores! Capella's got two, Lennoxville has a 5-0 lead. Three minutes gone by in the second quarter. And Lennoxville looking very strong here. And the Cougars control off the draw. Here they come in transition. Good hit. Ball squirts free. Daibo picks it up. Daibo back out to Veya. He shoots and scores! <laughs> Veya has two. Cayman Daibo has three apples. And the Cougars have a 6 0 lead. <laughs> so Drake getting set to take the draw for Lennoxville. Going up against Gerard Bissonnette of Brebeuf, Nicola Gerard Bissonnette. And we got a procedure call on Lennoxville, which will mean Brebeuf has possession of the ball. This is the first time that the Dynamic have had the ball on this side of the field in the entire second quarter. We're almost five minutes in. Now Bray Buff, let's see what they can do offensively. It's forced away and a turnover. Now the ball squirts free and the Dynamic come back with it. High pass will go out of play and Lennoxville's got it again. The fave takes his time. Gray Buff playing in their usual Princeton style defense with only three men on a 
on attack, pressing everyone else on the other side of midfield. And the Cougars break through it. Out in front, Vidya wide open. Oh, what a stop by Brassois. Vidya got wide open. The lead pass, the flex. Now it's lobbed up in the air, scooped up by the Cougars. And Lundixville comes back. Daibo out in front of the net. There's a shot over the goal. And nobody at X for Lennoxville, it's Brave Buff Ball. And back come the dynamic. Brave Buff in possession of the ball. And the ball squirts free, and the Cougars come away with it. This defense has just been relentless. There's a pass which will go up. Came and Dibos on it. A miscue, but it still works out in the end for Lennoxville. They got a whistle and an offside called on the Cougars. Only two men back defensively, so Bray Buff will have it. Nuezo up ahead, intercepted. And the Cougars are going to drag it out here and. Balls on the left-hand side of the Brave Buff goal. Balls at X. Veyu pops out. Veyu back in front. Wide open and there's another one. Simon Pellerain makes it 7-0 Lennoxville. Brave Buff has taken a timeout. 11.54 to go in the second quarter. Lennoxville by a touchdown. All right, we're back here at Collège Jean de Brave Buff. The Dynamic has just taken a timeout. Right now, Lennoxville really flexed some muscle, leading this one by a score of seven to nothing. We have 11.54 to go in the second quarter. And Bray Buff retains possession off the faceoff. There's a play to an open area. Here's a long shot and that is the first shot on net by the Cougars, uh, by the Dynamic in this game. No problem for Lefebvre. Lefebvre brings it up. There's a log pass settled in by Veilleux. Ball bobbles momentarily. Veilleux being shadowed by Alexi Noiseau, number one. Daibo on the far sideline, or the near sideline. Plays it to X. Back up to the left-hand side of the cage. Open look, they score! Ah, bouncer. And Lennoxville has gone up by eight. Well, 
The Cougars go up by eight. That's the first game these two teams played. Lennoxville won it 18-6. That was at Champlain. And telling the man behind Real Been Fishing earlier tonight that Lennoxville, historically a much different team on the road than they are at home. And uh, it doesn't look like much of a difference here. We got a procedure call against Braybuff. Lennoxville ball. Release has been called. Ball's at X right. Picked up by the Cougars. Cayman Daibo has not scored, has three assists. And the Cougars are still up by eight. That's just remarkable to see how well balanced this team is. There's the penalty coming down, probably two. Comes out in front, intercepted, possibly a second flag. We definitely have a slash, and it's a slashing call. Lennox still going to work on their second power play. They are one for one with the man advantage. So we'll see if Lennox still can get one here. Bayer, Daibo, back at X. Pass in front, tucked in short side by Ethan Drake, and Lennoxville now has a 9 0 lead. Eight ten to go in the second quarter. And the Cougars are still on the power play because that was a slash, so a personal. <laughs> Seven forty and counting left to go here in the second quarter. It's been all Lennoxville tonight. Raybo picks it up. Flag down. And they they drew the flag and put the ball out of the box, so that's why play was blown. Got a flag for I believe a slash. Called on Stephen DuPont, the long pole, so. He'll sit out for a minute. And we have a timeout, I think, taken. The Cougars are going to go for a time. Try not to lose their focus on this game because it's been 33 minutes of absolute masterpiece work by Lennoxville. Carving up Bray Buff up 9 0 here. All right, we're back here, and there was a late flag called against Bray Buff. So now Lennoxville goes to work on a power play, and the original penalty was wiped out due to that unsportsmanlike conduct penalty happening before it. So Lennox Hill on the man advantage. Daibo wide open, lets her go, scores! And now Lennox Hill has a 10-0 lead. Here are the Cougars, you should just line up here. I know you don't. You probably don't need any more goals, but you do not want to develop any bad habits. <laughs> they beat John Abbott uh, this past weekend in Lennoxville, ten to five. But we know that Lennox uh, Abbott, sorry, at home, it's always a different squad.
Oh, Ray Buff will pick it up here. Procedure called on Lennoxville, giving Bray Buff the ball with 5.20 to go in the second quarter. And the Cougars aren't really pressing here. Now plays blown in. Dynamic sore handed, so I would imagine you would see some kind of a double flag down away from the play, probably interference on Lennoxville. Free shot, maybe, but the ball comes out. Oh, Lennoxville had someone offside. So Bray Buff will not be shorthanded. In fact, their penalty has ended, so they're going to work on the power play. I got a whistle. All right, timeout. I think. stayed in Bin Link for work if it was an exciting game. I'm not to say it's not exciting, but look at this one. <laughs> I was hoping like 9.45. It's <laughs> 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 a time to freeze the clock. <laughs> Action resumes. Bray Buff on the power play. Down by a score of 10-0. Can they get on the board here? There's a bomb, and that hit something in front, and we got a flag down. Off sides. Two Cougars in the box, by the way. Oh, they had too many men. So now it's six on four. Oh, Bray Buff's going to get one here. It's, it has to be now. Now is the time to get it when you're up by two men. Oh, now it's six on three. Britt Lennoxville has three men in the box. Sorry, so a six on three. There's a shot, no one home. And now there's no balls at X. Oh, this is the worst time for Ray to have no balls at X. You always got to have fans patrolling the sidelines. There you go. We'll resume. Ball's got to start at X, though. Dynamic on the PP. One man back for Lennoxville. Save Maine. A rebound. Corral back behind the goal. Man on man because the Cougars have killed off 
the three-man power play which the Dynamic had. Two, it's worth noting that two of those penalties were technical fouls. Carroll sends it out in front of the net. The jump shot, big stop! It sounded like it got him right in the knee. And the Cougars look to start up. Xavier Fish. As we're down to the final one minute, 45 seconds here of quarter number two. It's been a complete whitewash. Back on the Cougars. Balls at X. 80 seconds to go in the first half. Lennoxville well, has a late man coming onto the field. Final minute of this second quarter. Here's the shot, save made by Brussois. Lennoxville's on it. Pick back out up top. Couple of spin moves, a bouncer, not on. Flag down coming up against Brabuff. Daibo, Veya, Veya out in front. Here's a shot and a soft by Brussois. And a penalty call coming up to the Dynamic as we're in the final 30 seconds of this second quarter. Here we go. This would presumably be the final play of the first half. Daibo, Adek, sorry, Veyu, back to Daibo. Him and Veyu have switched. Veyu, down low. And that one stuffed out. Dre couldn't get the shot on. Squirts free, and the D-Mamic knock it out of bounds. Should be Cougars ball, and that's going to do it. The first half is over. Lennox will score three in the first, seven in the second, and they are up 10-0 heading into halftime here at Collège Jean de Brébeuf. Welcome back to Calais Jean de Brebeuf. We're getting set for the third quarter. The Lennoxville Cougars have dominated this game from start to finish and have a 10 0 lead as we get set to start this third quarter. Currently, five on five. Here we go. Here's a lead pass, which the flex to the lip of the crease, kipped up by the Cougars, and they'll reset, dragging it out. There's a shot fake bouncer, and that's knocked down by Brassois. Brassois with a nice pass up to Noiseau. Noiseau got by the defender, Hosio, and now it's stripped and taken away by Hosio. Hosio. And the Cougars come back. Coming down in transition. Lennox still wanted a flag, not going to get it. It's a one on one here. The shorty is out on the attackman. Here's the shot off the crossbar. 
Cougars have the ball. Daibo spinning. Daibo one-hander. That hit the back of the net. Intercepted before the netminder could reel it in. Speaking of which, this game brought to you by, of course, Reel Him In Fishing. There is a lead pass which will deflect and nearly get out of bounds. Cougars scoop it up though. Drake out in front. And that's stuffed. A follow up chance. Another stop by Brassois. And a crease violation against the Cougars. Bray Buff retains possession. Two minutes gone by here in the third quarter. And the DMAT make bring it out. And here comes Brabo bringing it into Lennoxville territory. There's a shot. Just a little high, and uh, Lennoxville will retain possession. Good run, however, by Anthony Boilio. Just ball kind of slipped out of his stick as he went for the shot. Now, uh, illegal change on the Cougars. We'll give the ball back to Braybuff here with 16.55 to go in the third quarter. Dynamic in possession of the ball. And there's a steal, and it's a netminder coming up with it. The Fave gets it out in front of his own net. And back come the Cougars, coming into the transition. And the ball knocked away, picked back up by the Cougars. Flag down against Braybuff. Free shot for the Cougars. They gotta keep it in the box. And they take it out instead. And a penalty called on Braybuff. Cougars power play, they've scored two power play goals tonight. Looking to get another one here. Capella. There's a shot score. Cayman Dibo's got his second of the night. 11 nothing. And uh, the Cougars are still on the power play because of that penalty was a personal foul. And back come the Cougars. Drake off the draw, gets it over. Down low, shot between the legs. Not on. You only try that in an 11 nothing game. Oziel back up top. Out in front and the ball squirts free. 
Lennox Hill's got it. Pellerain. Pellerain. Drags it out. Pellerain slides it out. Shot score. Pick and roll and goal. It's 12 0 Lennoxville. And the, there's a light drizzle beginning to kind of fall here at Collège Jean de Brébeuf. Brébeuf controls. Farah. Sends one over. Raybuff controls it on the far sideline. Bouncer, not on. Dynamic there to recover it, and they will get another chance here in this offensive possession. Passed out in front. Good move and a shot. Stuffed. Knocked away by Lefebvre. He picks it up. Gets it ahead. Unfortunately, his pass bounced wide and it goes to the opposite sideline where Bray Buff picks it up and Boilio, the midi, leading the charge. Boilio is yard sailed! Whoa! Mateo, Mateo Hosiel with uh, a yard sale to remember. Hosiel knocking that one back and we're going to have a timeout called on the field. Lennoxville in complete control. We're back at Collège Jean de Brébeuf, uh, third quarter getting underway. We usually don't see these kind of games. Uh, Lennoxville leading Brébeuf by a score of 12 to nothing. And the Cougars in control. Both on the scoreboard in and in position right now. There's a shot. Oh, that hit the crossbar. Picked back up by the Cougars. Past. What a play in front, they score! Cayman Dybo gets the hat trick and what a feed, cross crease. And it's now lucky 13 for the Cougars. It is 13 nothing Cougars. <laughs> Bay Buff scoops it up. Pass down in front, and it's played to the netminder, and the fave will take his time. Another Brave Wolf turnover. Thank <laughs> you. 
La fave. Referees are calling for a stall warning. Stall warnings on. Stall warnings on. So the Cougars have to make some kind of forward motion here. And it's turned over. Picked up by Ranger. Ranger attacking. Ranger. Ranger. Triple teams and the Cougars come up with the ball. And there's a lead pass in transition. Which deflects off of a Cougar stick. So the dynamic will have possession of the ball. Good stall warning call there. I like that. The Cougars not really making a whole lot of forward progress. You want to keep the game going. Even though it's 13-0 right now. You, it's a referee. That's your job. Keep the game going. Good job on that stall call. As the dynamic bring it in. And a loose ball scooped up by Brebuff. Lead pass in front. At the flex. Ranger scores! A very pro friendly Brave Buff crowd here, obviously, on their, like, their own campus, and they get one. Justin Ranger collapses onto a loose ball and buries one past Lafave, and that makes it 13 to 1. <laughs> Off the draw, Drake having trouble. Drake sidestepped a hit as a possession was called. Picked up by the Cougars. Now we got a whistle. Offside called against Lennoxville. Bray Buff ball. As we get into the last six and a half of this third quarter. They're going to push on the back, called coming up to Lennoxville, I believe. So the dynamic will retain possession. Ball's at the right of the Lennoxville goal. Bro, Benjamin Bro, driving in. Benjamin Bro, uncontested, and he's forced outside. Ball squirts free. Scoop back up by the dynamic. Alexis Harmon, back behind the net. Ball bounces to the opposite side, scooped up on the hop by Brabuff. Jeremy Richard with the takedown. And a free hand called against the dynamic. We'll give it to Lennoxville. Here with five minutes remaining in quarter number three. Ball bounces free. Scooped back up by the Cougars. Anthony Capella stays on his feet. A flag down against the dynamic. Hozio. Ball bounces outside the box and Bray Buff scoops it up, leading to the penalty call.
Justin Villa will start with it at midfield for Lennoxville. Down low, Daibo back up top. Villa open, out in front, right there, and they can't get it. Cougars backing it up though. What what work, what movement on that power play for Lennoxville, 3.15 to go. Cougars in possession, ball's at X right. Back up top. Now on the left-hand side of the net. Nice move. Back out in front. Stuffed away by Braybuff. Ball squirts back up high. Scooped up by the Cougars. Drake brings it back out. Drake sides it over to Villa. Villa in front of the net. Hosiel thought about shooting it. Now gets it over to the left. Ball's at X. Daibo. Nice move. Shot score. Bayou's got another, and it's a power play goal for the Cougars. Lennoxville uh, running away with this one thus far, leading 14 to 1 over Bray Buff. As we're in the last 100 seconds of the third quarter. And the Cougars come up with the ball. Capella, dancing along the sideline, gets it at X. Daibo. Cougars on a change as we're getting to the last minute of quarter number three. There's a shot score. Fifteen to one, Lennoxville leading. Here we go. And the Cougars scoop it up. And that's it for three quarters, Lennoxville. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, it's not over yet. I thought that was the end of the third quarter, but actually it's just a turnover for the Cougars, so Braybuff in control of the ball. Played out. Bolio brings it out, and that will do it for the third quarter. Lennoxville, 15, and Bray Buff, 1. We welcome you back to Collège Jean de Bray Buff. Fourth quarter about to get underway. The Champlain Lennoxville Cougars in control, leading the Bray Buff Dynamic, 15 to 1. And there is Hosiel coming up with the ball. 
Face off win Lennoxville. And they bring it back into Brave territory. Balls on the left hand side of the Brave Oaf goal. Back at X. Out in front, nobody home for Lennoxville. It bounces free to the other side. Cougars still pick it up though. This is Nico Greer. Greer slides it up. Veya. Bayer, back behind the net. Daibo, trying to get outside. Daibo cuts in. Daibo, tiptoes by dude. Daibo scores. No, oh, actually, it missed. My bad, I thought it went in. Good shot block by Bray Buff on the slide. There's a shot now, there's a goal. And that's Hosio with the score. And Lennoxville goes up by a score of 16 to one. Lennoxville scoring another one here. That's Maverick Hosiel's third of the night to put Lennoxville up by 15. Now 16 to one. Ball stuck at the midfield. Gray Buff picks it up. Loizzo up the field. And it's picked up by Lennox. Ball knocked away. Mateo Hosio will give it back to his netminder. As we're past three minutes of this fourth quarter. Made up to midfield. Ball squirts free, gets across the line, and the Cougars come back. Capella. Cayman. Drifting back behind the net. See Alexi Hammer on the defender. Now you got a whistle away from the ball. Free hand called on Lennox, so we're going Bray Buff ball. Four minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Last time we had a full season, the Lennoxville Cougars went one and seven. Two and six, sorry, they made the playoffs. Beating out St. Hyacinth for the final spot. And a win here would double their win total from that season. With still two more games to go, including Monday night in Tuareg. Ball squirts free. Push on the back, yep. Seymour caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Brave will pick it up here with 15 to go in the fourth quarter. Charles La Rochelle. Pass behind the net, scooped up by the Dynamic. Oh, 
Ball knocked away, good stick, and we got a whistle and a flag down. And we have a Cougar shaking up. <laughs> Power play Bray Buff. Balls at X right, picked up by the dynamic, played up top. Here's the drive and a goal. La Rochelle lets it go, and the dynamic get their second one. Power play goal, 16-2. 16-2 Lennoxville leading after the Brave Oaks scored a power play goal and a smart timeout by the Dynamic there. They stop the clock and if they win the draw, they'll have another opportunity on the faceoff. And a procedure called against Lennoxville. That timeout actually ended up working out quite well for Braybuff. We'll see if they're able to make something of it. Here we go. Dynamic on the power play. Still. Back up top, there's a ripper, not on. Trying to get a shot with the long pole. A lot of weight behind the shot, I'll tell you that much, but the accuracy meter is a little harder to engage. Pass out in front. Good slide by the Cougars defensively. And the power play still going for Braybuff. Seven minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. There's a shot. Score! No. Stuck behind the goal. Lefebvre stick handling himself into submission. And we're going to have a moving pick called on the Cougars, so Braybuff picks it up. Wow, look at this. No one covering him, and Lefebvre makes a stop. Penalty by the way over, we're back to full strength, six on six in the midfield. Played back up top. Benjamin Bro settles it down before it gets past midfield. Bro bringing it in. Bro forced out by Hosiel, and now it lands right on net. Man on. <laughs> Good smart play by the netminder here, taking advantage of that extra play that he has. I remember when I used to do that, I used to bug the crap out of opposing attackmen. At least for three seconds. 
Never four, I swear I never got a violation. Cougars coming back here. And there's a man on, man on, Pellerin going right at Girard Bissonnette. Pass across, good feed, and a huge hit thrown as Nico Greer took one. We got some pushing and shoving between the netminder, Russlaw, and one of the Cougars, it looked like Capella. Meanwhile, Braybrook coming back, breaking through. Action picking up here as we've approached the midway mark of the fourth quarter. Pass knocked down by a stick. There's a shot from a sharp angle, not on the target. Comes back out the other side. Good slide, and Braybuff retains possession. La Rochelle. Sends it back out. Girard Bissonnette. Dumped it off. Tidier, spinning. Terrier. Terry still with possession of the ball, looking to get some help here. Now he'll dump it off. Here's a coding opportunity to score. It is Terry with the finish. And now it is 16 to 3 Lennoxville. Hmm. Two in a row for the Dynamic. Off the draw. Settled in by Drake. Drake. Wow! Heath and Drake goes coast to coast. And lets the Dina Nip know about it afterwards. And now it's 17 to 3. That's how quickly a goal can be scored in field across. Literally takes eight seconds. Minimum six seconds even. Win the draw, go up. That's it. And with 720 to go here, it is 17 to 3 Lennox. So. Ball's on the left-hand side of the goal. Now Lennox will controlling things on the left-hand side of the cage. Ball's at X. Daibo. Daibo saw the slide, backs it out. Came and gets it to video. Back up top. Open look. Score. <laughs> and I think a secondary, if a secondary assist is awarded on that, like I should, it's, I think it should be. That's five apples for Cayman Dibo. That is goal number four for Jeremy Capella. And that.